This example is mixing uh, both a Fisher projection and a Newman projection problem. We want to know the relationship between these. For example, are they identical? Are they enantiomers? Are they just pure structural isomers? Or are they diastereomers? Uh, so let's figure that out. First of all, uh, it could be helpful to name them both. And if they both have the same name, they're not going to be structural isomers. This is a one, two, three. Got three carbons right in a row. Well, four really right there. So this is a two, three, but uh, butyldiol. Two, three, butyldiol. Uh, and then there's one more substituent right here, the methyl. Uh, so there's a 2-methyl. Uh, remember that uh, the alcohol goes right here, OL, and there's two of them, so diol. Uh, so if you put all that together, that's 2-methyl. And then this 2-3, you can either put where it is, or uh, right in front of the di and diol, uh, two, three, butyl diol. Okay, now let's compare the other one. We've got one, two, then the circle represents a third carbon, and then a fourth. And so this is a butyl diol also. Uh, the OH is on the second and third position, and then uh, to get the lowest numbering, there is a methyl substituent on the second carbon. So it has the same name. Uh, they're not necessarily identical. They could be. We have to check out the stereochemistry, but they're not structural isomers for sure. Okay, so now let's, uh, let me put a star where there's a stereocenter. Well, there's not one here because two groups are the same, two methyls. There is one right there. Uh, there's not one in the back carbon, the big circle because again, two methyls, but in the front, there is, there's four different groups. So the front carbon here, the uh, third carbon in our naming, uh, has a stereocenter. So if you just determine if it's R or S, that will tell you uh, if they're an antimers, a diastereomers, or whatever. So it can be a diastereomer because there's only one stereocenter. Uh, if these have the same stereochemistry, like both S or both R, that'll be considered identical. If they're opposite, they're mirror images. So you use whatever uh, RS kind of preference naming style you have. This would have the highest priority in this group, then this group, and finally this one. So this would be an S. And if you need more practice, look at my, some of my other videos on chirality. And then for this one, highest priority, second highest priority, third and fourth, and so that would be also S. So these are identical. Identical compounds.